I'm Roberta Dwyer, a veterinarian at the Gluck Equine Research Center at the University of Kentucky. And the topic we're going to talk about today is how to clean water troughs. Um, as you will see on this particular rubber uh, water trough, we do have some issues, as in a lot of uh, bird feathers, dirt, grunge, and even a bit of mold. This might be a water tub that you have um, stored away and now you need to clean it out because you've got a new pasture and you want a, this to be your water tub. And this obviously needs more than just a rinse uh, to get that kind of grunge out of that area. So other reasons for routinely cleaning water troughs is if there is, um, you know, standing water that turns stagnant and there's green scum around the edges, things that will harbor bacteria. Also in respiratory disease outbreaks, especially strangles, you want to keep those water buckets and the water troughs clean because animals dipping their nose into the same water trough, water bucket, uh, that can be a mode of transmission for that particular bacteria. Now before I get started, considering that there's bird issues going on with this uh, tank and that I'm also going to be using some chemical disinfectant because we have a non-porous surface to work with. I'm going to put on some gloves and I'll have my water assistant turn on a water hose for me because the first thing we're going to do is rinse this out. We're going to rinse it on to a gravel lot so we don't have to worry about the wastewater is going because we've got some nasty things in here. However, just rinsing it with water, you can see there's still stuff that is stuck. There's feathers, there's still the mold problem. So we have to get a little bit more aggressive with this. This is time intensive, it's labor intensive, but once you get that done, this particular issue will go away. So what I do is take some regular detergent, because you want to clean out all the organic matter, which is the feathers, the mold, the dirt and the mud. And you take, you know, for this size of tub, a hand brush works quite well. And you just physically get in there and scrub things down. You can, all the surfaces that a horse would touch, but you need to get all this organic matter out. So that's gonna take some scrubbing. This particular water tub has got a floater in it so that there's a water hose attached here with some water pressure and when animals drink this is floating on top of the water and it's got pressure on a valve and when it goes down in height it releases that valve and more water will go into this tub. That does not mean you should not check the water levels of every water tub, water trough, and water bucket during the days, especially in the, in the heat of the summer because nothing is fail safe. So now what we're gonna do is just rinse all of this off. Uh, we've gotten the majority of all the organic matter out. There's some permanent staining that we can't get off. You do the best you can. So now we have things crystal clean. A lot of people would just leave it at, at this, but if, again, if we are trying to disinfect something that has been that dirty, we're gonna wanna use a disinfectant. Again, I'm gonna want um, protection on my hands because I don't wanna come in contact with chemicals. And especially since we're using bleach, which can splash and can cause eye damage, I'm gonna be wearing safety goggles as well because bleach is highly toxic. I'm going to use a just the commercial bleach that you can get at any store. They will have a, um, a dilution factor on that, which I've already looked at. And for this, I'm gonna put a cup in a pre-measured amount of water. And then I'm gonna pour that solution right into this bucket. You're going to want to make sure that all the sides, all the surfaces are clean and get damp with this solution because you want to have a wet contact time, again, of about 10 minutes. You don't want to use just a, a gallon of, you know, say, oh, well, this is a big tub. 
we'll just put a gallon of bleach in there. You want to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Bleach is toxic to plants. So you need to think about where you're doing this. If it's in the middle of a field, you don't want to be dumping bleach on the grass because it will kill the grass. Uh, here again, we have a driveway with gravel, and so the rinse water will not be a problem because we're not going to be killing grass or um, any ornamental plants or trees. So, you keep this wet over a period of 10 minutes. If you filled this whole thing up with water, you can do that as well. You're going to be using more disinfectant that way. Bleach is not the only thing that you can use. There's other disinfectants that can be used on tubs like this or metal tubs, um, and those work just fine. The big thing is, is to get it clean before you disinfect it. 10 minute contact time. After we're done with the contact time and we've determined that this is gonna be a safe area to rinse off the wastewater, uh, after 10 minutes, we're gonna rinse this. Anything that a horse eats out of or eats from, after it's disinfected, it needs to be rinsed because you don't want any um, smells or odors or aftertaste, and many of these chemicals can be toxic if they are ingested. So rinsing is a very important part of this. You've got a 10 minute wait time. Let's fast forward ahead and we'll go ahead and rinse. You can tell already that it looks significantly different than where we started. A very thorough rinse. This is water that your horse would also drink. This is not just uh, this is drinkable water. For us, it's coming from a municipal water supply. Okay. So today we showed you how to clean out the interior of a water tub. If you want to go ahead and clean the outside for aesthetic purposes for your farm, that's fine. Just detergent and water and a scrub brush will help you do that. But our main concern is where are those horses going to actually be drinking out of because we want them to have a clean water supply. So with that, you want to be sure to ensure your own safety when you're dealing with chemicals um, and all the people that work on the farm, if they're working with chemicals, get things clean. This is ready to go out into a field and get filled with water so the horses can have a nice drink on a hot summer day. Mm -hmm.